In this video, I'll be doing 12.5 thousand points in Kanto Champion Stadium with recommended teams. The last time I did this challenge was over 9 months ago, so what better way to celebrate the return of this challenge than to do at 12.5 thousand points. Since we have sync grids for every sync pair now, this should be easy, right? Right? So let's start off with the worst team in this video by a long shot, I sweet Agatha. The team is this, Candice, Bryson and I don't have Steven as slash so I'll be using Price. This team is terrible, where the hell is the support? Why no support? What the hell DNA? What were you thinking when you are making this team? Bro this team sucks man, holy crap. But yeah anyways, I'll be using the first parameter which is status condition which is very important for this team because we need to freeze to activate Price's um, free synergy which I'll talk about a bit later but before that let's maybe walk you through maybe some of you are not too sure what parameters to take for 12.5 thousand per stage right so for my playstyle I usually do quick battles for Chimney Stadium so I usually take all the offensive stuff so this one is a must take obviously don't take this if you are off type of course but on type you have to take it it's literally free 300 points the move gauge one is also a free 300 points, it's a must take. Your physical and special move is usually a, a free 100 points as well because you can bypass this with crit. But for my case right, I'm still gonna take it but it's gonna be troublesome for me because Price cannot max crit and Candace cannot buff crit. Candace can ensure crit on the sink if I use hell before sink and that's about it so this is gonna be terrible for me. And then the others. Right, status status condition, take it if you don't status of course. For my case, I need this. But interference, I can take this because I'm not flinching or trapping anyone. For this one, it depends on how you want to do this. For me, I'm going to sit this out for now because I'm not too sure how much damage they're going to do to me. Sing buff, for my playstyle, yes. If you're doing long battles, sing buff is a no-no because this is, yeah. You know, it becomes like a 6 star EX after your opponent sinks, so they have like 2 sink buffs, so that's not good. No set reduction, it's a good, good to have if you don't have like, if you don't, don't plan to debuff it. For me, I do plan to debuff because Price can debuff with IC win, so I think that will be useful for me. Ally healing, always something I take. Half head ally MP, quite situational, it depends on what you have. If most of your sink pairs are 1 MP only, then you can take this. For me, I want this because I need to get to plus 2 crit with Price is you know to have an 80% chance to crit every time he attacks right plus 2 crit is 80% and then for the 5 stats up I will be taking this because I will be using Bryson Bryson has haste which can drop the stats right the opponent's buff stats so this I will take physical and damage reduction typically you can choose one of them for me I have to I cannot choose any of them because price is special with IC win Candace is physical nuke so I cannot I cannot take either of them because yeah yeah it sucks gradual heal also always a must take can, can change zone whether the terrain it depends on what you have for me I have to change because I have hell uh, ally HP down it also depends if your tank is very tanky you can take this or if your tank can heal you can take this as well for my case I don't even have a good tank because I, have, I don't have a support for this team so yeah so I have 1,300 points more. Usually what I take is, I'll take all the attack. Right, this one attack. Power hit also also I take. I might have to nerf this. Like, not nerf but like change the parameters because, yeah, this just sucks man. Okay, the attack, attack, and yeah, I have 1.8k, I need 700 more. 700 more, maybe I can take HP. Maybe this one, yeah, I need 300 more. I can take, maybe I'll take a strength parameter. If you don't know strength actually increases all your opponent's stats because it's a level increase right. So your opponent's defense, HP, attack, everything will increase if you choose strength. If you choose like attack or defense then it's just, it's just that specific stat that will increase. It's just an FI, FYI for you. Oh man, maybe a strength 100. I don't know. I don't think this is, really, I don't think this will go well man. So yeah, this is a team. Yeah, Bryson. Bryson is here with the health environment tool. Since we are taking the status right, this will double the chance. So instead of 30%, it becomes 60% chance to freeze, which is very crucial, I think, for this team. Then we have MPR for some things that can clear the stats and stuff. We have Price here. 
price we have two free synergy eight so if we can freeze she can do pretty good damage with icy wind and then we have house environment one as well just in case we need to use that then we have candace she will be nuking the problem with her is that we do not we cannot max crit so we can only time it well with hell follow through nine which is crit hit next on when you use her uh, her hell right if you, if you use hell then we have the nuke right then we can max crit with max speed because fit fit one makes x speed becomes plus three so if it's if you use it two times you max your speed i do not look forward to this man this is the first team and it's gonna suck oh man i do not i do not have a good feeling for this we cannot even buff attack for Candace, like what the hell DNA? I think I'll nuke the mid. Hopefully a freeze. No freeze. Unfortunately. But that's okay, I think. This isn't really gonna do much because we don't have max attack. Yeah. Good freeze. Freeze. Yeah. I don't think is this even doable. I don't think this is doable, man. Good freeze, so you can I see win this. Yeah. How am I gonna beat this? Can only play these skills, which I doubt. Oh, it kills! Okay, there's some small hope. There's a small, small hope. Okay, we are small hope. There's no way I should beat this first try, man. Holy crap. Thank god the right side only uses thunder after the mid kill uh, dies, so we don't have to worry about AoE. Come on. Okay, I think we got this. Oh my god, I cannot believe I actually first tried this. No way. Let's see how much this does. 6k, not too bad, I guess. I am surprised. This is 2,500. Yeah, I guess my strategy worked. I'm kind of proud of that. It took me a while to think of this strategy, but yeah, nice. So the next team is this one. It's also not really a good team. Good thing I already have Steven at 3 out of 5, I actually candy him to 3 out of 5 just to beat Moltres in the legendary corner to get another win. Because the 3 out of 5 he gets good stuff. Right, he gets... Aggravation. Right, and then with this parameter I'm taking, the additional effect. Aggravation 1 with Iron Head is going to be 100% chance to... Flinch, so that is good. And then Wickstrom also has Aggravation in the grid, so we can just flinch lock this. Jasmine is there for defense buff, and then to get the, the gauge right. With the what's the thing? Lock step nine. She also has Berserk Bunch one, so we can max Steven's crit because he can get only to plus four crit with X attack. And then we have this one. We cannot mark, we cannot buff crit, but we can have this passive to Oko. We time it well, right? We use this before sing, and then we can KO everything. Yeah, let's see. I guess. Okay, flinch the first try. Nice. Flinch. Nice. Flinch. Nice. Okay, we sing with Jasmine first. Okay, the Mercury is a bit confusing right now. I don't sure what I'm doing. Let me make it slow. So I know what I'm actually doing. Okay, another flinch.
Damn it! Now they flinch. Now they flinch me. That is funny. Okay. Okay. We are looking good now. We have max attack. We have the defense buff for uh tough thing three or something. The new grid for Steven. Yeah, max crit. This should be okay. Hopefully, this kills everything, please. Almost. Crap. This is a bit scary. Because we cannot max crit. I mean, we can max crit with a bullet punch critical I1, but I think that's not really useful here. Oh, wow. I'm surprised how well the tank. I'm actually really surprised how well the tank. Wow. Good finish. I am, quite, I am quite surprised how this went. Okay, nice. 2.5,000 points as well. Looks like we have this team. This should be an okay team, actually. I have all of them as Kitai EX. And Brandon is a good striker. He can nuke. I will be thinking with Lyra first because she has solar rise right to summon the sun. And then with sun, she can max speed. Or like buff speed, right? Which is nice. Rosa is there for tank because she has higher defense which is defense. And then Brandon here for a nuke. DPS should be okay, I think, hopefully. Okay, the surf should be fine with our black screen on. Nice. Okay, right, summon sun and then we can start buffing the speed. And then Brandon should be able to do everything after that. That is good damage. I mean, I mean he has the charging sun now, so that's good. Yeah, actually the mid is gonna die before we even kill. Okay, I think we got this. Okay, should be okay. I hope. Don't create the right side, should be fine. I hope. As long as you don't flinch. Okay, nice. Okay, honestly, this challenge is going so going good so far. I was expecting to struggle, really struggle with the first two teams just now, but I somehow beat everything first try, which is very surprising. So yeah, that's nice, I guess. Okay, the new grids actually help quite a lot. Okay, next team is this. This should be an okay team as well. I hope. So we have blue here, of course. Blue good support. This grid. I generally want very important to, you know, make sure that we can sync on time with the second sync. Then we have Wallace here, he's honestly just there for nothing, I guess. Don't start to, to tank some physical attack and then first aid 4 to heal, just to, you know, he's just there actually. I don't know why he's there, why he's there, but yeah. We have Shooter 2 here, I guess, but not really needed because we have Blue or Defense Buff. And then I guess he's there for Trap as well, with Whirlpool. Then we have our Nuka and Damage Dealer. Inertia Grimsley and Sharpedo with Inertia. This should be an okay team. But we do need to spam a lot of the blues trainer move to max crit. Because I only pass one crit at a time. Once we use this, which is quite risky. Good timing with Grimsley's team as well. Because we're using him. NPR? Dang it. That's kind of bad actually. What do I do now? No one else just use Grimsley's trainer move. It's probably. Oh, okay. Onyx is using Twister. God damn it. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, the dodge. Never mind. Oh, then I the left side use now. Thanks. Dang it, man. 
I mean, we do, okay, yeah, we do have Undo now. Okay, that's not too bad. I hope. Okay, nice. The Enduro is good. Don't use any AoE move, and we are okay, I think. Actually, I'm not sure if Grimsley can kill this. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can kill this. <laughs> yeah, I think we hit a problem now. We have a problem. The Sykes will probably die. Doesn't even crit. Dang it. Okay, I want to see how much damage the Sink does. This, okay, it only does 273. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they do a lot less damage these days. I mean, I know I have defense bar, but like... It's weird because I'm taking all the attack parameters, right? All the attack, power, power on hit as well. Yeah, see, I have power on hit. It's a bit weird. Did I know this? I don't think so, but... Maybe my sync players are just better now. Probably with all 6 X. Maybe, that's why. Right now, I think we just need to pray for MPR for blue. I think. So we can max crit, we don't have to use uh, Grimsley's trainer move, so we can tank the sink just in case we do need to tank the sink. Okay, we got the MPR already, that's good. Okay, we're gonna use the blue straight move again because we need to buff speed, right? Grimsley is only at plus 3 speed now. We need to max speed for more damage from inertia. Plus 5 speed now, that's good. Alright, come on. Big damage, please. Come on. 20k on the mid. Nope, didn't even crit. Nice. Man. Okay, we at least max. Uh, defense now we should take this okay not too bad we also have endure so if anything goes wrong okay actually yeah we are not sign off Q dang it we can try miracle for fun okay never mind the trap Q she yeah I think we got this this should Q Alright, nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Doing decent. Okay, the last one. This should be an okay tip. Alright, Toshi even has a grid now, so we can max attack with NPR. So that's nice. And then red obviously for the nuke with the sun as well, right? Sun from plane, plane has any day. Then he can trap as well. Pinpoint entry to make sure the... I mean, pinpoint actually, right? Pinpoint entry is not enough to make Fire Spin 100% accuracy. You still have 1% chance to miss with <laughs> plus 1 accuracy stat, right? If I get the plus 5, it becomes 90% accuracy, and then you plus 1 the accuracy stat, it becomes 100%. I mean, just for fun, no real reason for that, but yeah. And you should be an okay team. So far, challenge doing. Challenge is going well, which is nice. Finally, a good change of pace for me. Of the NPR. No, dang it. Okay, we sunny day. Then we can nuke with flood. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Uh, reputation also confused, which is nice. Don't die. Dang it, Tochi, you suck. Even with grid, the grid cannot even save you. So weak. Okay, you should do decent damage. I hope. Ah yeah, no crit. Wait, did I take the wrong... Oh shoot, I think I took the wrong... 
physical special <laughs> damn it bro like with the new like parameters right you have to keep changing the freaking parameter every single stage which is which i find quite annoying i'm pretty sure i took the wrong one yes i took the wrong one maybe it should be better now Okay, at least you don't die this time. Please, NPR. Uh, yeah, this Tochi only have one job. You cannot do your one job. Useless. Your job is to just max the attack for Charizard to nuke. But you cannot. So weak. Die again. Useless Tochi. Come on, man. There we go, that's the nuke I've been hoping to see. GG. Thank you. Torching was a burden as always, but yeah. Only 3 minutes. Pretty good, few attempts. Not bad. But yeah, 